Hey guys, welcome to another video from Sigma Bros. Today you have all three of the Sigma Bros here. We're replacing the 55 gallon and Buna tank with a 125 gallon Predator half tank. Hey, I'm the African Cichlid Bro here. My two brothers came down to help me install the 125. Really excited about the upgrade, showing you how we did everything, step by step process, and of course the final result. Hey, and as always, please hit that subscribe button. And we love hearing what you guys have to say, so please leave a comment in the comments section. And I think we'll dive in. Okay guys, so Quinn and I are now driving down a couple hours to help our brother set up the 125 gallon aquarium. He needs some help moving it down the stairs and all that, so we're really excited and can't wait to show you the experience. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss the tank completely set up and looking good. So here's our 55 gallon aquarium in our brother's basement. We're going to be replacing this with a 125 gallon aquarium right on this wall. He currently has seven predator halves and they're going to get much bigger and they need a bigger tank and that's what we're going to give them. So we decided to go with a 125 gallon aquarium from our local PetSmart. You've probably seen these kits in your PetSmart or Petco. There was a pretty good sale where it's only $499, which comes with the tank, the tank stand, the lids, and lighting. We bought other materials separately, such as the sand, the lighting, and filters, and we'll go into more detail on that later in the video. So after buying this from PetSmart, we had a local employee help us load this onto our U-Haul. We had actually rented a U-Haul van for about 20 bucks just for the night. The tank and tank stands were just a little bit too long to fit in our SUV. So the tank and stand weren't too difficult just to load onto the van. As an empty tank, it wasn't too heavy. However, it did feel heavy when we were taking it down the stairs. So the first thing we did was wipe down the glass to get all fingerprints, debris, and everything else that might have been in the tank, just to make sure it's perfectly clean before we start. The next thing we started on was washing out the sand. So we got seven 25 pound bags of black sand. It's really important to wash out your sand to make sure that your tank doesn't cloud up, especially with black sand. This is very easy to cloud your tank up and you just want to thoroughly rinse it out with a garden hose or a sink faucet, something like this. We used a bucket and a shower head um, for each bag of sand and it took quite a long time, but it was definitely worth it in the end. We got the bags of sand from PetSmart as well. And if you're curious about all the different products we used in this 125 gallon tank build, we'll link those in the description below for more information. So as one of us was cleaning the sand, we also were draining the 55 gallon tank so that we're able to move it slightly down the wall because the 125 gallon tank was going right in its place. We also wanted to keep the 55 gallon tank running at least overnight. We were keeping the Predator Haps in the 55 gallon tank still running while we were fully setting up the 125 gallon tank. And if you're curious, we were using established media from the 55 gallon tank to put in the new setup for the 125. Anytime you're setting up a brand new tank, you definitely need to know about the nitrogen cycle. There are plenty of videos out there. If you're setting up a brand new tank, go search for those, learn about it. We basically did a shortcut by using established filters. As you can see in the top right, we have an AquaClear 110 that will be running on this tank and it was previously on the 55. We also put media from this AquaClear 70 into the FX6 that we'll show you in a bit. So even though we thoroughly washed our black sand, there was still a bit of cloudiness to our tank. We ended up doing another water change, which essentially was just washing the sand out an extra step. So a quick overview of the equipment that we're using. As far as filtration, we're using the FX6 canister filter, as well as an AquaClear 110 hang on the back. We have two water pumps to keep water moving at all times. Predator apps love water movement. We have a current USA satellite light. We have two Fluval heaters, 200 watts. 
we ordered a black background and as mentioned we have black sand here. As far as decor it's relatively simple. Predator has like a lot of open space to swim so we're just using a few rocks from the 55 gallon tank as well as a fake plant. So we filled the 125 back up with water and now it's time to set up the FX6 canister filter. We're going to do a future video on how to set up the FX6 and the recommended media for each level of the canister filter, but for now we just hooked it up to this 125 gallon tank. Our intake and out tank are close to each other. Sometimes people put them on opposite ends of the tank and you can definitely do that. We have the aqua clear on the other side as well as water pumps, so it just made more sense for our water movement in the tank. As you can see here, we have a lot of good surface agitation. You want to point your water pumps up towards the surface so that you have enough oxygen exchange happening at the surface. So we just set up the filter and now the tank's starting to clear up. Here's the black sand with some air bubbles that are just starting to go away. We're really liking this setup so far, getting really excited. We love the black background and the black sand. We think the fish are really going to start to pop. And then we added in the rocks and the plant that we mentioned before. And as you can see, this tank is a little cloudy. We just used a product called Sea Chem Clarity, which clouds up your tank temporarily. But after about 24 hours, your tank is pristine. We highly recommend it if you're really concerned about your water clarity. And then it was time for maybe the least fun part of the project, which is catching the fish and moving them into the 125. So we definitely recommend lowering your tank water, making it easier to catch the fish. Here we have a Bucochromius nodotania. First guy in the tank. If you'd like to see each of the different predator hacks that we have, check out the card in the upper right hand corner. This is when we first got them and unboxed them and we go into more detail on what they are. And the tank does look cloudy right now, as mentioned, Sea Kim Clarity is doing its magic right now. However, you'll see at the end of the video just how clear the tank gets and we're really excited to show that. So stick around. So we got all seven Predator Habs back into this 125 gallon tank. If you're not familiar with them, they do get relatively big. So this 125 gallon tank will not look so big once they start to grow. After we've had the tank running for a while with the fish in it, you're about to see the difference in sea cam clarity before and after. And here's what the tank looks like now. We're very happy with the way this turned out. We love the look of it. The simplicity is great and perfect for haps. We do have extra rocks that we may add in over time, but we want to be careful with that because predator haps can be territorial and aggressive when there are caves for them to claim. All the fish are doing great. Our water levels are perfect over the first couple weeks. Again, if you're ever setting up a tank like this, make sure you're using established media. If you put these fish in without an established tank, there's a high likelihood that they just won't make it. These guys are already starting to show some color and design on their bodies and it's awesome to see. We can't wait for them to grow up and to share their journey and their growth with everyone. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe down below. We're going to be giving all those updates we mentioned in future videos. And also, if you have any questions about the setup that we have here or the Predator apps, leave those down in the comment section below. We love to hear from everyone, and that's much appreciated. And here it is. So we hope you like this video. We hope you like the tank setup as much as we do. We really appreciate you sticking around and watching this. As always, thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.